So today is Friday the 22nd of September 2023 and I've had a notification that the DPD driver is going to be here imminently. So that means one of two things. Either I'm finally going to have delivery of the puncture repair kit for inflatable Linda or I'm getting a new iPhone. So here it is then, the new iPhone inside this box that Mr. DPD has just dropped off. So I'm now gonna open it. So let's do the DPD bit and open that, open that bit of the container. Hang on a minute, I'm struggling already. Oh, look at this. Now this is a really small box. Let's just have a look at that. Look at that, that is a tiny, 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 teeny, tiny box. And that is one of the things, of course, that Apple have been talking about recently, which is their kind of more green credentials. And of course, not having a charger inside the box, that kind of helps, doesn't it? Let's be honest. But that looks kind of, yeah, that's small. You can pack a lot more of these into a container ship. But let's, um, let's now open it. Let's lift it out, shall we? Okay, so here it is. Here is the new iPhone and inside the box as well as the phone we have just a USB-C lead it's a braided one it looks quite nice actually it's white as you can see there uh, USB-C which is of course the major change for this version let's put that on one side and then you also have nothing else in here you have the little apple -y kind of uh, Let's see. Oh yes, Apple sticker. Apple sticker, everyone. We have an Apple sticker. That's good news. And we have the usual myopia point blurb in here that no one ever reads. Yes, but they have to include it. And of course, you've got something here for, uh, for the SIM tray to open that, which we will be needing to do that. And here it is then. Here is the iPhone 15. Now this is a 15 Pro Max in uh, black. And this has got this titanium finish around the outside, which looks really smart, actually. Let's see, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that on the camera, but that looks very, very nice indeed. I really like that. I don't know whether this camera might pick it up a little bit better. Um, yeah, there you are, you can just sort of see that there. Uh, that looks really smart, it looks really nice. We'll compare it with my current iPhone in a moment, but I just wanna do this, I wanna take I'll take this this off the front. So let's do that, shall we? Let's take that off the front. Okay. Oh uh, yes, there we are. That was good. And uh, I don't know why I get a little pleasure out of that. Now, one of the criticisms that it always seems to be thrown at Apple, not just Apple, but Samsung and Google and basically anyone who makes a smartphone, is that when they bring out a new model, it's not all that different to last year's. However, mere mortals, you know, sane people like you and me, we don't buy a new phone every year. We get a new phone every two, three, maybe even four years. In fact, I'm replacing an iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's four years old. So I'm not just getting the updates for this year. I'm getting updates that were introduced in the iPhone 12. And here it is. Here is the iPhone 15. And that is quite light. I've been, I've been reading that it's quite light. Now I'm going to compare this with my previous iPhone, which is an iPhone 11. Oh, iPhone 11. No, this is the 11 Pro Max, and this is the 15 Pro Max. And I would say that, <laughs> it's not very scientific, is it? But I would say that this, the 15 feels, feels lighter, but let's just swap hands because, you know, I'm not that symmetrical. And... Yeah, I don't know actually, maybe about the same, or it feels about the same. Let's have a look at the size of it. So let's have a look at the size of the two together. And there we are, so that is the 11 Pro Max and the 15 uh, Pro Max. And there we are, and the cameras. Actually, one of the things that I've really noticed on here is the difference in the cameras. I mean, okay, the cameras have been massively updated between the 11 and the 15, but something that I wasn't really expecting, stupidly probably, 
is just how different it is in size. Look at the size in difference in size of the camera bump. I, I've always been a bit of a fan of the sort of the curved edges that you get on the 50, um, on the 11. I, I quite like that, that sort of not the flat. I like these sort of rounded edges. However, I have to be honest and say that these sort of flatter edges on this phone are really nice. Now this is the Space Gray uh, 11 and this is the black titanium. So you can just see the sort of contrasting colors there. And it's definitely is darker, as you would expect, because I called it black rather than space grey. And on the side here, we've got this action button. How well can we see that? So this camera's better, I think. So this is this, this new action button at the top here, compared to on the uh, 11. You've got the little switch that you can just see at the top there, uh, which, of course, was the mute switch. That can still be a mute switch, but you can do other things with it now. I don't know what I'll do. I might make it a shortcut for the camera. Uh, OK, I'm going to push the button on the side. I'm going to switch the the phone on for the very first time. There's the Apple logo appearing. Right, so I'm busy setting up my uh, my phone and you can see here that just having my phone next to it, I've got Quick Start. It was looking for nearby devices and on here, it set up your new iPhone. This will transfer your current settings. I have got a case for my phone and I've got a mouse case and this was eye-wateringly expensive and I'm not you know, recommending the mouse case at all. The only reason that I get got a mouse case is because on my 11 Pro, I had this, this is a mouse case. You can see it's got quite bashed up over the, um, over the years that I've had it on the 11 Pro, but it's kind of done its job, which was to protect the phone. And I have, like everybody does, I have dropped the phone. I'm not that much of a butterfingers, but I have dropped the phone occasionally. And it's no doubt that it has protected it. I'm looking at the 11 and there isn't a scratch on it really. So here we have it in its um, sort of posh, uh, packaging and they are trying I believe to be a bit more sustainable which is always good to, to see so here is the mouse case and it's quite a lot chunkier I think really than the than the other one that I'm replacing it with and if you can see that it is a bit thicker um, and in a way that's a shame I always think it's a shame putting a case on your phone just simply because they designed these phones not to have them really to look really nice but the titanium case I believe can scratch up I don't know if I believe that or not. I've not had a phone with a titanium case before, but I'm going to put it in this case and hopefully that will give it a little bit of added protection. The 15 Pro Max is downloading a software update just to slow things up for me. And on here, on my old iPhone, it's basically saying that I'm done. You're done. So we can say we're done. There we go. We're done. So that phone, that phone doesn't care anymore. So just got to wait for this one to finish sort of doing its stuff. So I got the phone out. Uh, on the beach and here's my very first photo that I've ever taken with the 15 Pro. I'm using the camera here, the video camera with the cinematic mode so you should have a nice kind of shallow depth of effect on the back there. So that's quite good hopefully. So get this back and uh, see how these come out. So it's really difficult to give first impressions isn't it of a phone when I, I haven't really ever used it. All I can do is to talk about how it kind of feels in the hand, which it feels really nice. The screen is, is huge. Um, the dynamic island is something that is new to me. I've not had that before because I've had the notch prior to this. I can certainly see that the, the bezels are thinner. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about it. If I, I, it's not that easy to see on the, on the screen there maybe because of reflections. They are, that's not too bad. Um, it, I don't think it really does it justice showing it on there, but uh, definitely, yeah, it looks like, it's not bezel-less, of course it isn't, but it looks, it's using a huge amount of the screen, which is good. I like the look of the, of the device. I think the titanium is really nice, actually. I'm surprised at how, how nice it looks. So that's good. The camera bump's gonna take a bit of getting used to, and maybe this case is gonna help with, with laying it on the table, because at the moment, when I lay it down, that camera bump, it's sort of like wobble wobble a little bit, but um, the case might help with that. And yeah, I mean, this is just early impressions, isn't it? It's early impressions of how it feels. It feels light, the titanium looks good, the screen looks brilliant. Really looking forward to getting to grips with some of the things that are on this that weren't on for me, the 11 Pro Max. So this is a really mega update for me. Uh, being a YouTuber, I'm interested in the kind of um, camera video enhancements that I'm gonna have over this, that'll be quite nice. Of course, really interested to see what the, the new lens is like on the camera. 
uh, that will be interesting. And of course, there's other clever things that the camera does as well, such as being able to take photos and then convert them to portrait later, which I really like the idea of that. I'm forever fiddling with things and all trying to get the portrait mode on before I take a picture. And the moment's gone sometimes. So I really like some of those little enhancements. Really looking forward to getting to grips with this. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of let that vid the video finish now because I'm not gonna be able to give reactions to everything on the phone until I've had a chance to play with it for a bit. So I will do a follow-up of what I think of the 15 Pro Max compared particularly to the 11 Pro Max uh, after a few days. So if you want to see that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, please make sure that uh, you like this video if you've enjoyed watching it. And I will see you for an update how I get on with the Pro Max, the 15 Pro Max, uh, really soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.